Hello everybody, it's me again, it's Alan. Um, today I just wanted to share with you a um, pasta recipe and hopefully you'll be able to enjoy it. Just basically basic spaghetti. Um, one of the things I do a little bit different, um, there's a couple ways I make it, three ways I make it. One is to cook the sauce all day in a crock pot uh, using different kinds of meats and sausages um, and oh my gosh, it is so good. But uh, tonight I am just going to do uh, fresh and I got uh, a couple of things I'll show you. Uh, I tried to do as much of the prep work up front as I could. So just bear with me and we'll go through it. Um, basically just uh, spaghetti and salad tonight. And uh, you know, whether you uh, have a family or whether you buy yourself. This is a great meal uh, A lot of fun times around the table when you're eating this kind of food. So it's all good So basically what I want to do is I'm gonna start my sauce first um, And I've got some olive oil I'm gonna cook in the pan. I'm gonna see if I can't rearrange this camera Make it just a little bit easier to see There we go you won't see me, but at least you see the pan. How everything going? I did cut up everything um, before getting started, so uh, hopefully that'll make it a lot easier and a lot quicker. So basically, I'm just gonna put some oil in the pan. You know me, I like to put things back, and I'm gonna turn it on. About medium high, I'm gonna get the meat out. So we'll put the meat in in just a minute. But I did dice up some uh, garlic and some onions. Um, and then I've got fresh basil and fresh oregano. So you can buy it at the store. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the basil. So it's a it's a little bit more leafier. And then this is the oregano. It's got small, small leaves to it. But let me tell you, fresh, fresh, fresh is the best. So if you're in a hurry, it's different. But if you can, fresh is the best. And that lovely music that you're hearing is from Sanga Nuna. So uh, she's on YouTube if you want to check her out. Pretty awesome. Great pianist. And I always like to put some salt. And I use the Morton Horse. Uh, kosher salt, so it's a little bit bigger, and I see, season as I go. And then, of course, some pepper. And we just want to get this translucent. We don't want it to overcook or burn. But as you're cooking, oh my gosh, you can smell the garlic, smell the onions. It's so good. And basically, I'm just going to brown this up to where it's, it's not cooked all the way through because I want that sauce to cook into the meat, and uh, that'll really help it give it more flavor 
and then you don't overcook the meat. And I like to just stir and kind of chop it up into smaller chunks. As you're cooking, just keep adding flavor to your food, and it'll make it amazing. So, I know we put a little bit of salt in already, and a little bit of pepper, and we'll put a little bit more as we go along. Now this is starting to brown up. sauce so I like the meat to kind of just blend in with the sauce and that's why I keep working it like I do plus it helps make it cook a little bit faster too believe it or not now if I was doing meatballs I'd cook the meatballs and I'd sear them all the way around that way they've got a nice texture on the outside um, and then drop them in the sauce and let them finish cooking the rest of the way. But uh, it all depends on what you want. So if you want ground beef, you can even do ground turkey. Ground turkey and spaghetti is pretty awesome. So because the turkey is lean, so it cooks pretty, pretty quick, but yet you keep adding all that flavor to it. So it makes, a, it, makes it turn out pretty good. done and ready so the only thing I don't have this fresh is tomato paste I did get some crushed tomatoes that are water free so uh, I like a, a chunky but I got some homemade tomato sauce so we'll use a homemade tomato sauce uh, tomato paste will help thicken it up a little bit and then those crushed tomatoes will get a little bit of texture in there so it's always good to have texture with your food. If, if you don't have texture with your food, then, you know, it's going to be like baby food. Who wants baby food? You know, right? So, I'm so tall, so you have to apologize. I apologize that you've got to squat down a little bit. But I just wanted to see, let you see how it cooks in the pan. All right, so this is pretty good. So now we'll start adding... Good to have some music when you're cooking too, you know. So you're saying how thick you want this? Well, just watch. It'll it'll take all this tomato paste to get it to the consistency I like. Everybody's different, so uh, some people put water in here to get the rest of it out. There's not much. I pretty well scraped it out, but you can do that. and oregano in just yet because I want that to have a little bit more flavor for it so I'm gonna let this kind of cook down for a little bit I will add some salt and pepper to it uh, just because I want to make sure it's seasoned well and then uh, once I get that 
may add a little bit of water. Kind of loosen it up just a little bit. Of course, that water will cook out when this starts to boil. All that water starts evaporating out and then it tightens everything back up and it gives you an enhanced flavor. So water's good. Like if you if you get water out of a jar, let's say you buy ragu or prego, whatever you like, you put water in it, rinse it out. That way you get all everything out of it and you got it in your sauce and that water will evaporate uh, as it boils. So and it's starting to boil. I'm gonna turn it down to medium heat because I want this to take some time. I want the flavors to get built in. And uh, it'll be yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, back in a little bit. All right, so this has been cooking for a little bit now. So I'm gonna add in our uh, basil and oregano and let that kind of just meld all in there. Set this right here. Just a little hot. All right, so here's our basil and oregano. And just stir that in. I'm gonna let it cook in really, really good. So, it's gonna be yummy, so I will let this cook for a little bit. I'm gonna finish up my salad. Uh, I've already cut the lettuce, uh, carrots and stuff, so cabbage. And then I'm gonna add onions and peppers and cucumber and get that added to the salad. And then put that in the uh, refrigerator. And then uh, after this sauce is cooked down and uh, some of this has uh, evaporated and just tightened it up really well. Uh, I will boil some water, uh, put some salt in there, and uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys back because it's only going to take about two minutes for the noodles because they're fresh. Remember, fresh is best. You got good, better, and best. So I'm going to make it the uh, best I can tonight. So I will uh, bring you back here in just a little bit. All right, welcome back, I guess I should say. Uh, I've got water boiling. The sauce is looking great. I'll uh, give you a close-up here in just a little bit. But <clears throat> when I go to cook the pasta, this is the pasta I bought. It's uh, linguine. I like a little bit more noodle uh, than some other folks. But you, know, you can use spaghetti. You can use, uh, you can use whatever you want. I just, I just prefer this uh, for tonight. I change it up. Um, sometimes I'll use the tubes, the uh, macaroni shells, the large seashells. And so it just all depends on what you want. So basically, <clears throat> put the water on, turn it on. Uh, I put salt in it because I want that. You're supposed to, they say, that you're supposed to make it almost like sea salt. So whatever the ocean tastes like. Uh, that's how much salt that you want to put in the water when you boil it for the pasta. Now since this is fresh, this is only going to take about two minutes. And then it'll, we'll drain it. And I'll put sauce in with it because you want to put some sauce in there so that it sticks to the noodle. A lot of people will just put pasta on the plate, and then put sauce on top of it. Um, it's a lot better if you put sauce in with the pasta. It helps it. It tastes so much better. It adheres to it, uh, and it's yummy. So once this here gets boiling, then we should be just about ready to go. I'm going to turn my sauce off, and uh, oh, it looks so yummy. So yummy. And it's thickened up and I could thicken it up even more if I wanted to but I kind of like it just a little bit saucy for me you can do whatever you want uh, but man this is gonna hit the spot and then I do
did get my salad all done. Uh, of course, I got the camera in front of the, in front of the uh, refrigerator. I'll, I'll, I'll do a snapshot when I make my plate. Just let you see what it looks like. But uh, I'm going to eat good tonight <laughs> and tomorrow, too. Leftover spaghetti to me, leftover pizza, uh, it, stew. When you make food and you save the leftovers, the next day it tastes so much better because it's had all that time to just get all those flavors into everything and just let it settle down and rest. Oh yeah, it's, I love leftovers. So, not everything, but when it comes to pasta, when it comes to <clears throat> um, soups and stews and things like that, oh yeah, it is yummy, yummy, yummy. So, seems like it takes forever for water to boil, don't it? It's like, dee, 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 dee. wait, 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 wait. Um, and another thing is, too, when you boil your water, you really want it boiling, so you want those bubbles just to pop it. If it's not, then the water could be not hot enough. Your pasta could get to where it's, it's undercooked. So uh, the more bubbles you see in the water, get it boiling, uh, you'll be much better off. So as it boils, I'll move the camera and we'll turn it back on. All right. So the water's just about ready. It's starting to boil. It's starting to get really bubbly. So once that gets boiling really good, we'll drop the pasta, and it'll be about two hours or two minutes. Hmm, two hours. It'll be about two minutes, and then we'll be good to go. I'll drain it, and then I'll put the sauce in it and uh, let everything kind of settle down just a little bit, and then I'll plate it up and serve it and let you see what it looks like. So. Hopefully. Yeah, it's starting to boil now. I'll wait just another minute. I'll drop it down there. There we go. Well, let's boil. So we will just drop this down in here. like to separate it out that way it doesn't clump up so normally I fix a ton of pasta and what I'll do is I'll just I'll put my sauce in here in this bowl here uh, after the pasta is cooked and then I will uh, um, use this bowl to save everything, put it in the refrigerator once everything cools down. Oh yeah. All right, well, just a minute or so here, I will take this out and put some pasta on it, or some sauce on it, and let y'all check it out. All right, so I drained the water on the pasta, I poured the sauce in, I uh, got it all mixed up. Oh man, yummy, yummy. So I got my salad looking good. All those different colors, peppers, cucumbers, onions, a uh, little cabbage, carrots, and some lettuce. And uh, I'm gonna fix me a plate and I'm gonna make a mess on myself. Uh, one other thing I didn't bring out yet, but I will now, is Parmesan. This is the classic stuff. This is chunky stuff. Uh, 
I'll let you take a closer look. Just a couple of shavings on there. Oh my gosh. So awesome. I hope y'all enjoy. I hope you have a great evening. Have great family time. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.